what's up my people how in a day waiting they have waiting they sell welcome back to our channel okay guys uh first the result of the food competition will be out by 6 p.m today just want you guys to know that okay uh, let me quickly read this somebody um, commented yesterday and I promised myself to read it out let it be known that UAE especially Abu Dhabi is unlawfully keeping over 500 Africans in a prison in Abu Dhabi United Arab Emirates since 25th of June till date including pregnant women for nothing please let people know about this they are treating africans like trash saying our leaders can't do anything to them i'm not just talking i witness everything guys if you have more information about this or you have pictures or videos please let me know okay thank you let's move straight to uh, the next one guys I just stumbled on this um, about the Olympics Tokyo Olympics here the report says these are the 2.7 million dollars kits freely donated to Nigeria by Puma really 2.5 that's a lot though and an offer of financial rewards to our medal winning athletics which was rejected by our officials they instead use public funds to purchase from other sources and now the embarrassment in tokyo that's what show sani says senator show sani says now just think about it why would they reject that i mean they're giving them for free so why would they reject that they prefer to get funds from the federal government of, of course public funds right from the federal government because that one nobody over oversees that it's easy to embezzle you can't trace you can't nothing they can't be questioned for that but if it's puma puma will, will oversee that and make sure that the money gets to the appropriate destination or whoever they pay will get the money <laughs> like the individual they pay because they say they're gonna of course pay reward the outlet if puma is gonna reward you yes the money will reach you you know yeah and they said consequently puma has terminated its four-year contract with nigeria over the embarrassing scandal that has pitched the afn officials against nigeria's ministry of youth and sports due to the 2.7 million kids sponsorship on to the next news this is a fraud case about bonnie and clyde yes we know yeah those ones are dead and gone but their names lives on and here we've got the nigerian bonnie and clyde according to report i read a little bit about them the backstory they said it's been long this people this couple that have been scamming you know people and i think uh they got greedy and scammed foreigners and that's why interpol declared them wanted right let us read this report nigerian entrepreneur couple glory or say it berese and muiwa follow me sure have been declared wanted by international police over their alleged involvement in multi-million dollar investment fraud the couple are the ceos of divergent enterprise the mother company of the list the, the companies that's a lot of companies this comes almost two years after being the butt of twitter jokes and memes after being called out by former employees for hiding their marriage running scam business ventures maintaining a toxic work environment and deduction of salaries or firing staff over trivia mistakes however after taking a break from um, nigerian social media space glory and muiwa have now been linked to a slew of ponzi schemes the um, suspect whose social media prominence earned them the pseudonym bonnie and clyde in one case allegedly defrauded investors of over one billion naira over a billion naira i, I don't know uh, it's been a long time coming you can imagine years ago on twitter 
workers, employees, um, people that have worked with them, call them out and still they, they're doing this business. Uh, like I said, I think they got greedy and of course, um, you know, they're about to pay for it. Guys, let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. The Abba Kiaris case. Let us move straight to that one. So Abba Kiari said, Hush Poppy sent him receipts of 8 million Naira transaction to help him recover a loan. Guys, we're going to read this. <laughs> oh my God, this is, this is getting interesting. Getting interesting. Ooh. He said, because, you know, it changed or he edited his post multiple times. That's another thing. It's been um, questioned, though. They've already called him for questioning currently by the IGP. But let us read exactly what he posted. You know, he kept changing it, like keep editing it until finally deleted that post but let us read what he said nobody demanded or collected any money from abbas hush puppy he can be interviewed publicly in the presence of world media by the people holding him to confirm this he also called for another case in june 2020 and complained about a financial transaction with a second person whom he said his friend sent eight million naira to um pleaded for his friend's uh, money to be recovered why always you abakiari why always you the fbi already said it that this guy um, had multiple business transactions with hush puppy the fbi already said it so let's continue he sent transaction slips and other evidences to prove their case against the person all this can be verified from the hush, from the hush puppy since he is still in custody and it can be verified from person who collected the eight million naira from hush puppy's friend whom they complained about is alive and is <laughs> in nigeria generally whatever investigation steps tactics that has been taken is most in most cases especially on the parties uh, in this type of case from january to june is not for public consumption this is the true story that's what Abakiari said. Well, remember, he's been suspended and he's appeared, like I said, before the panel. Now, details of his defense are yet to be made public. Uh, if Abakiari, just thinking out loud, if Abakiari could use Hush Puppy, imagine what he must have been doing for other politicians. Wow. Guys, let me know what you think about that. Speaking about doing something for other politicians, here we have ffk ex-wife she said that ffk femi fanny carody is using police to threaten her and think about it ffk you know after abakiari's case was made public by fbi he supported abakiari he said he's doing a great job blah 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 and all that and here after that time the wife the ex-wife came out to say, this guy is threatening me with police. Okay, I, I'm just going to stop there. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next news. You can imagine a famous kidnapper saying now that he's a legitimate businessman. That's what he told the court. It takes a U-turn after four years or four plus years that you know he sells ornaments that's what he does uh, uh it's just after four years <laughs> you know i saw in the comment section some people saying look they wouldn't be surprised if they released this guy like you know uh, he said that I live at Fred Shoboye the Street, Magodo Face 2, Lagos. I'm a businessman and I deal in ornaments and olives. My lord, my name is not Evans and I don't have a nickname. <sighs> Guys, let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Moving on to the next news. This is Val, uh, do you know Valulence? <laughs> <laughs> no joke guy this is no joke um it's crazy why would a pastor lay his hands on a member now i'm not i'm not talking about trying to pray for that member 
he tried to hit the member why would a pastor even try to do that hit a member in church why not work on your anger emotions whatever that is wrong with you you know somebody came to church confessed and you try to slap the person i'm not a catholic but i'm I, i'm sure i've had a um, confession session where people confess to the a Catholic priest and, and stuff like that. If this one was one of those guys, one of the priests at the Catholic Church, I'm sure it would have killed at least one or two members with this behavior. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Let's watch. I took the money. He said he took it. Yes, sir. But what do you listen? What do you allow? somebody to be in jail because of the money that you have taken are you crazy uh, you yeah. know some things man, it's very painful <laughs> say amen Please. put your hand together for jesus okay guys moving on to the next news i don't know what's wrong with solid star here but i'm gonna read this recently i checked in a hotel in first act to cool off and work on my new project felt really sick after some days would have lost my life if not for the power of god discovered they work with witches and terrible people to take my life is life yeah <laughs> they gave gucci duvet filled with terrible spirits that almost ate up my heart guys be careful we put out the name of this hotel by 8 p.m tonight as this will save lives God turned up for me. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, moving on. Here we've got Whiskey. Whiskey posted this recently. Somebody said, I will suck your for two tickets. Ladies, I could imagine how, how, how many DMs, crazy DMs these guys get. You know, David O. Whiskey, the burner boy. Okay, guys, moving on to the next news guys this lady saved up a university student saved up you know as a university student i've got a piggy bank save up like thirty thousand naira of course in a, in a piggy bank you know gotcha process until you get to that target and uh, she opened the piggy bank and guess what rats chilled the 30k rats she says it. Many where everybody they save for a saving box. A rich Anita Ton rat chop all the money. A whole thirty k, thirty thousand naira. Chai, you cannot actually be more depressed than I am right now. Sorry, you can imagine the pain. Moving on to the next news. Now, a pastor was killed recently, and I was a pastor killed inside his church where of course there were rumors out there that this man was a cultist and the wife actually debunked that now uh, this the aunt of this person his aunt uh, mrs justina said that it was a clear case of hired assassin now i'm going to share a story with you about a pastor my former pastor right but before that let us read what the aunt says um says pastor mrs justina she said even before they killed him they showed him his picture to identify if he was actually the person the right person they came for his death was an unfortunate one we have lost a gentleman it was true we were born as muslims but we converted to christianity my thinking is that my brother had business transaction with someone i was told when the asylum wanted to drag him out of the pulpit where he was praying for women who bought their children for dedication he begged them to kill him there and that was where he was eventually killed by the government the silence also threatened to shoot any of the members of the church would they come close to them now about the story i wanted to share with you guys my former pastor back then i'm not going to mention the name of the church got into this business like you know shady business 
I'll call it shady business because it's actually a shady business. Yeah, you could do it like a legit business and the other person might just grow hate uh, towards you and kill the person, you know, that happens. I'm not saying that, but most of these things um, happens when there's, um, uh, when it has to do with shady business. And I I'm not saying that this man is a cultist or like, I'm just talking about, you know, my former pastor. And there was a particular lady that came with mopos, like came with soldiers to the church and harassed this pastor. Oh my God. The pastor was dragged out. Uh, the sermon was, you know, stopped. Um, and they, they started. There was just this whole pandemonium. And I'm just, it was a shame, you know. I wasn't in church that day, but those who um, experienced it um, told me. And also my, my family as well told me about it. And I was like, whoa, other, other people confirmed it. I was like, whoa, a pastor, can you imagine, in church? So, you know, some of these pastors get into certain businesses that are like too, too big for them to, to handle, you know. Um, moving on to the next news. Let us read this. I've distributed HIV. Somebody posted this on social media. HIV for my course mates in history department. There's this other guy that I will punish with it. He loves everything under skirt. I'm coming for you. You can't run away. I was innocent and it was given to me. I will make sure it goes round. This is wickedness. People like this need to be arrested and put in, in cages, not even in prison, in cages, locked up. <sighs> Moving on to the next news man all men has come um you know that's the famous line all men has come here we've got the actress hilda de kubo some things are very annoying that's the truth they're just annoying you already all know that i have boys my mother gave birth to boys i have a lot of friends who do not even have one daughter they have only sons and then you sit in your own house and you say all men are scums. You are calling our life investment scums. Are you for real? Like, seriously, are you for real? In fact, when did he become a scum? You were dating him. You were dating him. He asked you out. You followed him. Something went wrong and suddenly he's a scum. Have you asked yourself why you attracted the scum? Maybe... I'm just saying, you know, maybe you too, there's something scummy about you. See, let's just go straight to the fact, right? There are a lot of ill-mannered people, male and female. There are a lot of girls who would break hearts, you know, without even thinking twice. And there are a lot of guys who will do the same thing. Does not make either scums, doesn't. It just means that it did not work for the two of you. What didn't work for the two of you might work for two other people. Hello. So you can't look at a full human being created by God and nurtured by another woman. You look at him and because of one person, you make such bogus statements. All men are scum. Know yourself. Hold yourself because you don't even know if you are going to be the mother of the next one. A woman, you will have children. Do you know how many boys will come from you? You know, it would be better for you if you sat back and looked at what went wrong and what went right. Because in that relationship, there were things that you enjoyed that we were not part of. And you never told us until it went bad. But now it is bad. And because of him, all men are suddenly scum. Here we've got Eriga. Um, he shares his thought about marriage. Uh, he was interviewed recently by Hip TV. So let's watch. Basically, um, I'm this kind of person that believes that marriage is not for everybody. Some people don't know how to be committed. And when you're trying to force it on them, you end up bringing out a monster in them. And that's not who they want to be. There are people that love commitment. There are some people that I just feel like you do what's best for you, man. I, I don't, I don't know who they put the rules. Say everybody must marry and everybody who not married, blah, will never make them. You understand? But at the end of the day, is your happiness. Do what's best for you. Don't use your toxicity and disturb someone else's daughter or son because you can't be committed. You get me? 
So, uh, and the aspect of having kids outside, um, I don't know what to say. I had a kid outside now. I don't have one inside now. So, we don't play in and out. Basically, uh, you the joy that comes with having children doesn't have doesn't have anything to do with being married or not. Do you get me? Yeah, and the aspect of divorcing, uh, it shouldn't be a big deal. If you don't work, you move now. More that person try their chance now. You know, you're the, you're the tight place normally. Uh -huh. If you don't move, you move. That person enter. Stop breastfeeding your husbands. Breast milk is for babies. Commissioner for Gender Affairs tells women. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. She said, breast milk is meant for babies, not <laughs> their fathers. Mothers should stop feeding their husband with, breast, with their breast milk. It's for their babies. Now, let us read comment section. Madam, I beg, I beg. I take God beg you avoid me. Another person here. When you are so jobless at work and you decide to write an article, my husband is my first baby. Our lives matters too. Facts. Some men they no get shame. Then they drag milk with their newborn self. Um, people, they take that milk for real? What it concern you? They don't hear. Men will always be men. Well, that is it, guys. Let me know what you think about that. <laughs> That's funny, like seriously. Moving on to the next one. Here, we've got Ozo. Ozo receives house gift from his fans. Hey. I want to ask, is it only Big Brother uh, housemates that have fans that gives them something? I don't know. Cash, uh, fans. Range Rover, fans. Uh, a house in Lekki, fans. A house in Magodo, phase two, fans. A... I don't understand. I wouldn't be shocked one day if you say uh, your beard was given to you by your eyes, by fans, your, your uh, head. <laughs> okay. Well, happy birthday to also, by the way. He's 28 years old now. You know, for all he has done and um, how far he has um, led us, and let's just take just a short song. And just before I go ahead to pray, amen. 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 We are grateful. Oh, Moving on to the next one. Here we've got Beverly Naya, the actress. She said, I remember when I first moved to Nigeria, I was the most patriotic person you could ever meet. I did argue with anyone who had anything negative to say about Nigeria. Now, whatever you said Nigeria did, she did it. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the Olympics here. Tokyo Olympics, FG to reward um, gold medalist with $15,000. The report says the federal government has announced cash rewards of $15,000, $10,000, $7,500 for gold, silver, and bronze medalists at the Tokyo Olympics, res respectively. A lot of people says that this audio money. I don't blame them because we know our government. They promise Choma Junwa. Years ago, a house, a three-bedroom flat, then years ago, after she won gold medal, and it was given to her this year. Several years ago, some people weren't even born then. It was nine, in the 90s, you know, and it was Son Wolu that actually was able to fulfill that promise. So, once again, I wouldn't blame them. Guys here, Belo, a 10-year old boy from Safana local government in Katsina state has joined the work of Banga to chase away bush thieves. What will you do for him? What? I don't understand. A 10 year old and they already how you gave him a 10 year old a gun even have uniform Okay, moving on. Ghanaians are complaining currently. They want their country to be fixed and they're protesting. They said the, the economy is bad, you know, uh, the infrastructure, everything um, has been tough for them in that country. So they're protesting. They hit the streets and you could see the, the, the placard here saying, stop making foreigners lock down on Ghana. Uh, look at the pictures. Wake up, sleepy old president 
reduce fuel and gas prices, change the 1992 constitution. We are complaining about 1999 constitution. They have their constitution since 1992 and nothing has been changed. Stop the no bed syndrome in our hospitals and fix it now. Wow. Ghana is crying for your love. Hmm. Well, guys, that is where I'm going to hold it. Let me know what you think about that. Everything that I've said in the comment section below. And guys, don't forget to like this video. And also, guys, I want you to subscribe if you're yet to do so uh, to this question. This most tricky question of the day. I know book, I know book. If goat is a meat, then fish is what? Leave your answers in the comment section below. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and peace.